This is the first video of our animal husbandry question answer in English series. So our first question is the disease of coccidiosis in poultry is caused by which of the following things? Virus, parasites or bacteria? So our answer will be parasites. Coccidiosis disease in poultry mainly occurs due to which of the following? It occurs due to parasites. And other things that you should remember about coccidiosis in poultry are that coccidiosis is an intestinal disease. Intestinal disease, it mainly occurs in intestine of poultry. So if the examiner asks you that uh, coccidiosis disease occurs in which of the following organ of poultry, so you need to answer that it occurs in intest intestines of poultry or hen. Okay. And it's caused by intracellular protozoan parasites. Okay. And other thing that you should remember about coccidiosis disease is it's also known as Imeria. The spelling is E I M E R I E. So it's also called as Imeria. Okay. So in the first question, we have learned three things. Coccidiosis disease is occurred due to parasites. It is an intestinal disease. It's also known as Imeria. Okay. So next question is Which of the following sheep is considered good for superior grade quality of wool? Okay. Here the question wanted to ask us that among these sheep, which of the following sheep is considered good good for superior grade quality wool? Okay. Our options are Hisardel, Jaloni, Chokla, or Bicanary. Here answer will come. Which of the following? Hisardel. Hisardel is considered good for superior grade quality of wool. You may be thinking that Bicanary will come, but Bicanary will not come. Here is the correct answer is Hisardel. Hisardel is the best for or good for superior grade quality wool. wool. Okay. So, and you know that sometimes examiner also ask that. Uh, that type of question that uh, which of the following is a exotic breed of sheep okay exotic means that foreign breed okay oh, exotic means foreign breed so sometimes examiner asks that which of the following is a uh, exotic breed of sheep cow or buffalo okay so here is the i have given you list of exotic breeds of foreign breeds of sheep okay so the list is merino rambolet south down and Leicester. these four breeds are come under exotic breeds okay so whenever examiner asks you, you that which of the following is exotic breed of uh, sheep and if uh, merino or ambulator south down or laced any of them come you will have to answer them okay so our third question is the specific care given to livestock in the 15 days period to parturition is known as so here parturition means that before birth of calf okay before birth of calf so the specific care given to livestock livestock means that any domestic animals like that cow buffalo or our sheep okay so the specific care given to livestock any domestic animals 15 days period to the period to the uh, child birth i mean to say the before the calf birth is known as which of the following okay so our options are lambing calving care down cover or steaming up or answerably going to be down cover this this uh, this, this uh, care specific care before the uh, child birth i mean to say before calf birth uh, 15 days care before the calf birth is known as down curve okay and the care which we do which for we do is cattle or any cow or any buffalo which is going to give birth any uh, calf okay and uh, other thing in in your mind may be arising that what is called stemming up okay stemming up so i have given you here the definition of stemming up the specific care given to the cows three months period to parturition i mean to say that the specific care which is given to any domestic animals like that cow buffalo or sheep period to the parturition or uh, before the child birth before the child birth in the three months is known as stemming up okay maybe uh, i am not uh, trying uh, maybe there is a problem in my uh, explanation but here uh, i have given you in the written specific definition that the specific care given to cows three months prior to parturition is known as stemming up okay uh, if you are facing any problem like that you can watch my other hindi videos too which is available on my youtube channel okay or fourth question is the number of living sperm in semen is determined by which of the test which of the following test okay so here the question is that uh, from which of the following method is living sperm in a semen is determined okay there are many types of a test that has been done uh, to test the quality of sperm okay so here the, the question is that uh, by which of the following method is that uh, living sperm uh, determined uh, in semen okay so our uh, options are relative density test microscopic examination by chemical test or by methyl blue reduction test so our answer will be by blue uh, by methyl blue reduction test we can determine living sperm in a semen okay and other things that you should remember within the examination point of R is 
sorry average density average relative density of semen should be uh, here the question is that uh, what should be the average or good uh, average relative density of semen should be so our answer is 1.035 1.035 is the average relative density of semen okay and the ph value of good semen should be 6.8 6.8 okay so sometimes in the exam the question is also asked about that the about these things that what is the ph value of good semen what is the average relative density of semen okay so he, he, in this fourth question i have given you three three uh, three important points okay relative density of semen ph value of good semen and which test is done to uh, to determine the living sperms in a semen okay three three important points remember this or note down in your book okay our fifth question is which method of selection is considered good in animal breeding okay animal breeding uh, you don't need to go in that deep in that question okay just uh, remember remember simple thing which method of selection is considered good in animal breeding options are tandem method selection index method independent cooling level method or all of this our answer will be selection index method okay selection method uh, index method is considered good in animal breeding animal uh, animal breeding uh, i mean to say which uh, selection is considered good in animal breeding which which method of selection is considered good in animal breeding so which method of selection is considered good in animal breeding selection index method okay selection index method okay and what is known as selection the method of selection means that the good animal is selected over the bad one for breeding and breeding and other purposes okay here is the fifth question our sixth question is which of the following projects has been started in india for the improvement of desi breeds okay for the improvement of desi breeds or desi cows or desi cattle or desi buffaloes uh, here is the uh, uh, about only uh, cows okay this project this listed project are only started for cows cows improvement okay so here is the question is which of the following project has been started in india for the improvement of desi breeds or desi cows okay so indo cis project indo denise project indo german project or all of this so our answer will be all of this all of this project has been started in india for the purpose of desi breeds improvement or to improve their breeds okay so these are the three or oh, three project that has been started in india okay on uh, uh, the, about this project you need to remember other things also that indosis project okay indosis project it is started uh, uh, with the help of bronzes breed okay bronzes breed is used for breeding in and this project was established in kerala this project is established indosis project is established in kerala and which which uh, which cow breed is used for in this project is bronzes okay bronzes and other project is indodenize project this project was established in Karnataka. Okay, question uh, maybe ask like that. Uh, from which place the indo drainage project has been started? So that place is Karnataka. Or from uh, on which place indo drainage project has been established? So our answer is will be Karnataka. Okay. Our seventh question will be. Our seventh question is the number of pairs of memory gland present in goat or sheep. Okay, memory glands. Uh, here question is uh, the number of memory glands present in goat and sheep. Simple and sweet question. Okay. So our answer will be uh, one pair. One pair of memory glands present in goat and sheep. Okay. Our eighth question is which breed of cow is popularly known as Kathiawari? Kathiawari cow. Okay. Uh, as you know that there are many types of questions that are asked related to breeds of cows, related to buffaloes, or related to sheep's breed. Okay. You can watch my other videos too. We, there I have given you in detail, detail uh, in detail about the breeds of cows, buffaloes, or sheep. So here is our main question is which of the breed of cow is popularly known as Kathiawari cow? Okay, Kathiawari cow. So which breed of cow, cow is known as Kathiawari cow? Our answer will be Gir cow. Gir cow is known as Kathiawari cow. Or maybe you can call it Kathiawari. Okay, Kathiawari cow. Okay. And uh, other things that you should remember related this is Gir cow is a native. Uh, sometimes uh, examiner also ask that native places of cow. Okay. Like that, uh, what is the native place of Saiwal? Okay. Saiwal native place is Pakistan. We uh, uh, In Pakistan, it is. It's the main place in Montgomery. In Montgomery, Pakistan, the native place of uh, Saiwal cow, okay. And which is the native place of Gir cow? It's Gir, uh, native place is Gujarat, okay. Gir, Gir's native place, Gir's cow native place is Gujarat. And Saiwal and Gir cow are the milk breeds of cow, okay. If the examiner asks you that Saiwal and Gir breeds are uh, domesticated for which purpose? So you need to answer that for milk purpose, okay. And uh, the our third Parker breed of cow is double purpose breed. Okay, so if the examiner sir ask you that um, third Parker is which purpose breed, so you need to answer that double purpose breed. Okay, 
और नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन विल भी नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन इज न्यू क्रिस्टल डिशेज आल्सो नोनस न्यू क्रिस्टल डिशेज दिस इज दी अनदर नेम ऑफ एनी टाइप ऑफ डिशेज ओके एनी टाइप ऑफ डिशेज वेयर द ऑप्शन इज गिवन हियर सो न्यू क्रिस्टल डिशेज आल्सो नोनस आल्सो नोनस इट्स आंसर इज आंसर फर्स्ट रानीखेड डिशेज न्यू क्रिस्टल डिशेज आल्सो नोनस रानीखेड डिशेज ओके रानीखेड डिशेज दिस पॉपुलर डिशेज इट ओकर इन दी पोल्ट्री ओके पोल्ट्री अब टेंथ क्वेश्चन इज Which of the following is used as anthelmintic? Okay, you don't need to go in that deep, in the deep that question. Okay, so our simple and sweet answer will be CuSO4. Which of the following is used as anthelmintic? Ah, uh, so our answer is CuSO4. Okay, so here is the last question. Tenth has been completed. So uh, if you have uh, any doubt or any problem like that, uh, uh, this is my first video in English. So if you have any problem, please do comment. I will do my best in the next video okay thank you so much for watching video